so uh, I'm Felicia Fall. I'm an artist and English teacher and stay-at-home foster mom at times. Not right now. But um, I am getting ready to apply for a couple online teaching jobs. I teach English at a place called the Family Learning Center. I teach uh, adults, ESL. There's a couple organizations I'm applying to, and I'll see if I like them both, or I, we'll just see. I'm not sure what's going to happen. It seems like there's lots of, like, spammy things out there for them. The first time I applied for VIP Kid, I applied and I was like, I don't really trust this. So I'm not quite sure what's legit. But um, the two companies that I'm applying at currently are VIP Kid, which that one I know is legit. Um, I've talked to other people in our area that teach there. There's 16 people from my town that teach there. And I've, I know one of them from a sister town, I guess it would be. And then the other one is 5-1 Talk. And it seems very legit as well. I'm looking up the, the type of phonics that you're using. Synthetic phonics. And then also they suggest wearing makeup because it makes your facial expressions so, show better. And they're on a tiny screen. So like lipstick and eyebrows and like... I, so I'm playing with it because I don't want to. I don't want to do makeup at 3 a.m. I barely do makeup like most days, but 3 a.m. that ain't gonna happen. So, but yeah, so I'm I'm kind of excited. I think it'll be fun. I'm not super excited about the schedule. We live on the West Coast in Washington State. Our time zone is the uh, more challenging of the four cha time zones in the United States. Okay, so I'm leaving this clip in here. It didn't actually record the volume very loud. I have no clue what happened, but I passed the first interview and then I didn't pass the first mock class which um, was okay. I didn't really know what I was doing. I kind of did, but not really. And then um, my internet took a really long time. It didn't work well. Um, if you're going to apply, make sure that no one on your house is on Netflix. It took us about 10 minutes to figure out that's what was going on. And so I didn't get through a lot of the slides and there were lots of other issues. So know that ahead of time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off because I don't know. The original video didn't work. So I'll go ahead and pick up on the next one. So I just finished the mentoring session for the VIP Kid interview uh, session, uh, levels two and three, and it was really good. I'd already done my mock interview, and you were supposed to do it before your first one, which I had tried, but I wasn't able to. If you can do it before your first mock class, I would do that. I have my second mock class tomorrow afternoon, so I'm really excited for it. I think it, it's been a lot of fun, just the process. I'm already getting excited, like, I'm like, oh, people refer me, like, I want to make them props if they, like, get their classes, and I'm like, all these ideas for, like, what I want to do with, for, like, growing with VIP Kid. I don't know, I don't think I'll teach them any classes a week, though, so I think it'll take a while to get to, like, any of the other jobs, but they sound so fun, but also, like, doing the, some of the, like, community outreach things. I love stuff like that, so I'm really excited. I, like, I'm not, I'm hired, but I haven't been contracted yet, so I'm in that middle process, but I, I think I will get there. I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, thanks guys, see you later. One of the things that is suggested when you are doing the application process is taking the classes, the, the mock interviews close together so that you don't, people people tend to do better. I did space mine out for five days for the second one between the first one. And a large part of that is I've got other stuff going on. Um, I'm still spending a lot of time working on it. And it's not, a, I don't know how much, I'm spending time working on it um, each day a little bit. A lot of listening to videos, but also practicing and making props and that type of thing. We'll see. I'm really hoping I pass the second one. I feel good about it, um, but I also understand, like, if I don't, there's, it's good because it's a lot of, like, it's extra training. I don't really know. Uh, I guess I hope there's really good feedback if I don't pass it. I think I've worked on all of the things I got in feedback. So hopefully, if I don't pass, I'm hoping that the feedback is very clear about why and what to do to improve. Hey, so I just finished my second mock interview, or my mock uh, class, and I think it went really well. It was definitely better than the first one. Everything was excellent, so like excellent props, excellent TPR, all of those things, except we got to the second to last slide. We didn't get through the last one, and so we talked a little bit about improvements there were to shave off five seconds here, ten seconds there, on a couple slides, and then it would have been fine. So I think it sounded like it's in the right, he said it's in the right direction, so I don't know what that means. But my understanding though is that you have the time, and then you can, you have up to three minutes extra to finish, so if you run over, it's not the greatest, but it's okay. So yeah, so I think it went well, but uh, you still have to wait 24 to 48 hours, and I don't know if that's no matter what, or if that's just if you don't pass. So the next steps, it sounded like either way, you get, you just do the email. So I don't know. Hello, so you're looking at the newest VIP kid teacher. I passed level four and five, and I've signed my the, the contract. Yay, how exciting. I haven't opened any classes. I think I'll either do that this weekend um, or on Monday. Probably this weekend, or probably Sunday night. 
unless I'm late, up late, and I'm like, oh, Jim's in bed, and I want to teach a class, and I'll do like the last minute and see if anything gets booked. I realize that things probably won't start booking, getting booked for a while. I don't plan to open up the peak peak hours, maybe the like the latest one, just because of our time zone. Rest is important to me right now, so I'll, my my hours won't be in the peak peak times, and that's that's just where I'm at uh, with life right now. But I just wanted to say, yay! I'm so excited. I'm cutting potatoes. <laughs> yay! But I'm in. So I'm going to post this. And I'll let you guys know an update probably in like a month or so, end of April. I don't know when, but I will let you guys know how it goes. Maybe I'll show some props videos of what props got me through and 